Greetings! My name's Gordon Freeman, and I'm very peeved. And I'm also riding pretty fucking high after that shit. I mean, there was a couple of hiccups, especially with the world breaking, just to annoy me. Oh, wow! That fucking worked a lot better than I expected. <laughs> but, other, but other than that, good fucking shit. We... we... slew a monstrous beast. Although, of course, monstrous size has no inherent merit, unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. What have I done? I've bagged a legend. Let's go for two, shall we? <laughs> interloper. Nice. I certainly consider myself an interloper. Label I'm proud of. How do I get past this asshole? Oh, I see. We. This might have been the wrong way. This is a little awkward. Um. I uh. Oh. Come on. Who? Okay. Huh. Just casually hopping between tiny little islands. That's my idea of a good evening. A nice relaxing evening. <laughs> Hi. I think there might be something in this Zen air. Good thing the suit has automatic n uh, nostril cleaning technology. Otherwise, I'll be miserable. Ah. Uh, those lovely fellows at Black Mesa. What would I do without them? Well, I wouldn't be here. Um. Huh. Bunch of those bozos. Just casually having a few laughs, shooting the shit. Oh, time to interrupt them. Oh, well that's pleasant. There we go. Uh, well. Alien on alien abuse. Terrible thing. So are these guys... Was this just uh, some bozos punching, punching up some people that couldn't defend themselves? Or are these guys like slaves or something? I don't know. I don't... I'm not keen on getting involved in alien politics. Or human politics, for that matter. Aside from the whole, you know, driving the military out of my complex and all that. But that's not political. That's, uh... I'm sure all sides of the political spectrum can unite on such a shared human experience of driving assholes out of your territory. You know? Well, maybe you don't. Yeah. Really need to clean this thing off. I don't know what any of that gunk is. Ow! Unpleasant green light. Ow! I think it's... Well, this place seems weirdly primitive. 
maybe it's just maybe it's just an aesthetic or maybe this is how the underclass live while they're overlords enjoy the benefits of high technology and such well maybe techno uh, maybe technology is just just develops in very strange ways around here who knows Did you open the force field, mate? Real quick? Come on. Help a guy out. Oh. Oh! Come on, press that big green button. You know you want to. Thanks, mate. Now I kill you. No. I don't know what the one means. Stop laughing at me! Oh, wait, no, you're coughing. Or maybe you're doing both. Well, I don't know. <laughs> They're roasting a he uh, face hugger on the spit. Nice. Let's just do it. Uh, ah, that's uh, so, uh, Open up the teleport, I suppose. Yep, definite signs of civilization. Ooh, what's this way? Wow, their crates are even less stable than Black Mesa crates, and that's impressive. Yeah, see the, the disconnect in technological levels? Not that technology really comes into levels, per se, but you know what I mean. Or maybe you don't. I think there's definitely some sort of class struggle sort of thing going on here. Or maybe not struggle, but just... You know what I mean. Yo! This guys. I've seen them before. There were bozos before, but they seem alright now. Ah. Uh, I beg your pardon. Oh dear. That's a problem. Oi! Flying bozos, I saw you earlier! I've killed you before, I can kill you again. Slay ten, slay a hundred, slay a thousand, it's all the same. Yes! Cowering aliens, you need not fear their terror anymore, because I have come to liberate thee from your oppression. At least I assume you're oppressed. If you're not, just tell me in understandable English. I am come here to save the persecution, but if but if that's actually happening, well, I'll, let's call that a side benefit. Shit, they wrecked that. You alright? Oh. I'm sorry for your loss. Those are some worrisome things. 
Well, I've got a rocket launcher now, so maybe not quite so worse. So. I don't think I've ever actually field tested those big ass guys' resistance to rockets. No, well, I did, but not. Uh, but I'm referring to man portable rockets, not the airstrikes that I'd used before. Although they seem pretty fucking vulnerable. Alright. Okay, well, I'll find something else that works. I'm good at that. Or, at least the world is good at putting them in my way. Feel they we all have our destinies to face. I don't know if that's true. I don't think most people have destinies, but I seem to. I wonder if, how effective these little bee things are against those flying guys. Maybe that's why they're so common among those guys, because they're particularly effective against them. Who knows? Well, the aliens would know, that's who. But I can't exactly ask them, even if they were willing to talk. Oh. Hi. Good time to field test it, I suppose. Shit. I forgot to call the targeting. Oh, hi. Oh, hello there. Let me guess, another one's coming from this way. Yup. That is a spectacular number of them. Ain't leaving anything to chance. Well. I don't think I have enough rockets for all of them. So. Uh oh. That might have been a mistake. Uh. Hi! Evening, good sir. See ya, gents. Yo. What? How many of these guys are there gonna be in my- directly in my path? Um... How are they- This feels like a series of planned ambushes, but if it was planned, they would have cut off a lot more of my exits. So is this just the world j j yanking my chain? Probably. Uh, how do I get out of this one? Not this way. Not this way. Oh, here we go. No! I beg your pardon? What? How did I fall through it? What? It was perfectly intact, but it... But I somehow fell through it. There we go. And yet another one. Um... See ya, Chuckle Nuts! Here we go. Shit. Come on. Work, damn you. Ah. These things are being highly incorporative. There we go. Oh, well that was bracing. Not sure why there were like 50 of those gargantuan guys. Just sort of conveniently placed everywhere I turned, but also conveniently just placed just right so to give me 
some easy ways to escape them. But I'll just talk that up to the world being a troll. Either that. What's that? Not me alone? Whatever. Maybe it was just uh, the world getting rid of those gargantuan guys in a believable way. Semi-believable way, anyways. So, you know, taking them out of my path in the future and instead putting them here where I'd be able to escape them. No. Yeah. Who knows? Who can say how the world turns? Where the wind blows? Only time. I don't know if that was the words, but that's what I vaguely remember the words being. I haven't exactly been able to listen, listen to some tunes lately. Oh! Acid sacks, by the looks of it. And what the... Oh! Pneumatic tubes. Is that the right term? I think so. A sucking tubes. These tubes really suck. That's what they do. Oh! Hey! Think you can help a brother out? Thank you kindly. You know, you guys are alright. I wasn't a big fan of you when you were, you know, invading Black Mesa and blasting me with energy beams, but... Maybe... Maybe there's different groups of those guys, you know? The, uh... What do I even call those guys? Ah. I don't know. They shoot like energy blasts at me. They are kind of... Hmm. I don't know, I've never been good at naming things. They're kind of gaunt looking though. I'm gonna call them, uh, I don't know. They shoot, they shoot fucking beams of energy that shock me, like, kind of like electricity. And they're kind of gaunt looking. I'll call them Voltagon, you know? Nah, yeah, that's not a great name. I like the sound of it though. Voltagons. Yeah. That's terrible. What's this, anyways? Is it explosive? Let's find out. Yes! Yo! Well, at least, at least I can't say that they don't give health care to their workers. Seems like a distillation of both the, uh... Does this heal me? Actually, let me check. Yeah, okay, it does. Seems like, it seems like a combination of those, uh, healing pools and the, uh... Recharging crystal things. Yeah, at least I get some form of healthcare. Don't, uh, don't mind me messing with your workspace. It's for a good cause. The cause of liberation! I'm sorry about that. Huh. I wonder. Oh, no, I can't actually get in there. This invisible wall. That's probably for the best. It's probably a, a reasonable safety feature. Sorry for landing on your head like that. It's for a good cause. The cause of liberation. Yep. Commandeering the resources these guys need to do their job all for the sake of some the alleged liberation that 
don't actually particularly care about. I'm... In other words, I'm... Every revolutionary leader ever. <laughs> uh, or something like that, anyways. Okay. What are, the, what are these things even doing? Spinning like that. Maybe they're for air circulation or something? this one do that? Don't mind me. Come on. Bad three things are built to last, even with a big old HEB suited guy tramping all over them. Maybe not good. Okay! Could I have done that? I'm not certain. It certainly supercharged this. Not sure about the exact... Did I, like, bust, uh, burst open the inhibitors or something? I guess that kind of makes sense. Makes more sense than most things around here, frankly. Or back in Black Mesa. I mean, every, I feel like everything around here in this planet of Zen or whatever makes very little sense, and that's infinitely more sense than Black Mesa ever did. Huh? Excuse me. There we go. Normally they, they're mag the they let us latch on from much farther. Fresh hill is this? I feel like I'm fucking ten years old again, climbing through the restaurant playground. All right. Yeah, these guys seem pretty chill. Why are you? Messing around with it while I was still on, anyways. That seems hazardous. And why? Hmm. What is with this green one, anyways? Why does it need two of these orange ones to be released? Is it just like a? Is it some? Is it just something that like amalgamates the energy output of two of them, right? A more high frequency power or something? I don't know. I'm not an elect I'm not an electrician, I'm a physicist. I know I understand a lot of the theoretical stuff about uh, electricity, but it's not exactly my specialty. <laughs> yeah! And there we go again, busting inhibitor. Uh, I don't like the way they're running for cover. Oh, isn't that pleasant? Ow! Oh, what are you? You bats! You fucking asshole! What are you? Hmm? 
Oh, I see. Yeah, they're fucking the weird leash things that, that they got. They're fucking mind controlling them. Or maybe bodily controlling them? I don't know. These assholes are fucking. They really are slaves, aren't they? These guys are freaking attaching weird leashes to their to those weird collars and shit, and forcing them to attack me. I don't know if it like controls them or if it's just like some more indirect means of control, like hitting them with pain if they don't do what they say or something like that. I don't know, but I don't like it. Well, this looks like a pleasant place to be, and a perfectly safe one at that. I don't think I've ever encountered an actually safe place since I came in this morning. Or, heck, maybe since I, maybe even since I started working at Black Mesa to begin with. The more I learn, the more I realize I was never safe to begin with. We'll call that the price of knowledge or whatever. But you know what? I'd have been unsafe. I I was unsafe whether I knew it or not. And if, and at least knowing it, I can actually do something about it. Like, well, okay, I, I can't really do much about it now. Not to say I don't mind being in unsafe places as long as I have the tools to kick ass while I'm there. Did I climb in there with these? No, it's not nearly high enough. If only this damn jet would go upwards as well as sideways. I think that would be a pretty obvious thing, but I guess those eggheads and that Black Mesa just didn't think of that. Not sure the physics of that made sense, but alright. Surely I should have been being pulled up into that. Uh, Latisse thing, not just this help. Wait, I'm back here, aren't I? Oh, that didn't help at all. Is there something down there that I need? Nope. Uh. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Missed it. And the very things that they lit around here, for their own purposes, shall be one of the tools of their demise. Just like the very teleportation technology that they created, we co-opted and are using to deliver. And just as they use it to deliver an army onto our, the, our doorstep, we are using it to deliver but a single man. As usual, us humans do it better. Who, who needs an army when you have one man with a crowbar and an HEV suit? Fuck. I didn't kill him? I wonder what part of them is their, is their weak point. Maybe the giant fucking exposed head that's like as large as the rest of them combined. 
Might be that. Yeah, truly bizarre design, I think. Now, this stuff is never coming off. Long. They keep saying that. I wonder what it means. Maybe it's same shit, different day. Alright. I made a shortcut to where I just was. That'll be helpful. Oh, yes, that will be. Probably. Uh, ah. Oh, it's these little buggers. This must be the uh, armory or something. I don't even know if I'm, if I'm pretending this for any particular reason, but hey, it, can come, it could come in handy. I'd hate to have to go all the way back. Evening, gents. Working hard or hardly working, eh? Well, that looks like painful death. They could be warning me, like, don't about some horrible malfunction that'll kill me if I don't do some very specific thing. But I don't know their language, so I don't know. For all I know, they, they don't even have a language. For all I know, they're just making random noises. I don't know. There's a little lock up there. Does that have anything? Wait, maybe. Okay, yes, I can get through there. Didn't really look like it, but alright. Alright. Here we go, and... This is quite a long cord. No, no. And there we go.
what happened to you? Probably a victim of these ridiculous spinning things. Man, the, these guys, they have this miracle fucking healing shit. And they think that, that it gives them the right to just completely ignore workplace safety hazards. Well, you know what? Healing doesn't do much good if they're dead. I don't think it does, anyways. Can they bring back the dead? I mean... I guess it might depend on how dead. Just humans can bring back the dead. Under the right circumstances. Uh-oh. What is with these places just fucking exploding when I'm just when I'm just plugging random shit in? the last one. Could have thrown those another one. Maybe not. Okay then. Uh go and Oh, uh oh. Thank goodness for these gems. Anything else I need to burst? Ooh. Sorry to drop in unannounced. Send me right into the force field, and also would probably kill me for all that energy while getting through it. Ow. Here we go. When in doubt, search for a sufficiently pulsating sack, I guess. No! Uh oh. Come on. Come on! Get up, you bastard! There we go. Easy peasy. And when in doubt, find a pulsating sack to shoot. Ah. Hmm. I need to find another pulsating sack, I guess. Ooh. Shit. whole fucking odyssey to get to this last one. Um. Well, that looks pleasant. Okay, then. You know what? Now seems like a perfectly good time to stop for now. 
<sighs> I, so yeah, not only am I the destined grim fucking reaper of the world or whatever, off to slay whatever the world thinks needs to be slain, and the liberator of Black Mesa from human and alien forces. I'm also apparently the liberator of slaves now. Neat. What's that about? Right. Ow. Ha! Gotcha! This will come in handy. Maybe. I don't know. I mean... Alright. So, yeah. We're also infiltrating this whole fucking alien citadel or whatever. So that's, that's, that's fun. And we've like, still got a voice in our head. Slightly less fun. But until next time, I have been Gordon Freeman, and I'm very peeved. And remember, dislike the video, unsubscribe if you're for some reason subscribed, and leave an nasty comment in the comment section down below. Fuck you all so much for watching, and so long, suckers. <laughs>